All right, hello, and welcome back to the Binge Boys Podcast. We got some great things to talk to you guys about this week, but before we get into all of that, we must introduce ourselves, and with you today, my name is Enrique. My name is Eli. And my name is Tristan. Time to talk about my movie that I put on the list, because it's a goddamn classic, Battle Royale, from the 2000s. To further disclose, I watched this subtitled because I went and bought a copy of it. Definitely. Hey, congratulations. I did. I did buy a copy of this. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But, Tristan and Eli, you guys watched this dubbed, correct? Correct. Yes. I'm sorry for your loss. Me too. Wasn't that bad. <laughs> but before we get into the whole discussion of Battle Royale, I want to get your guys' general thoughts on what's considered a classic film that paved the way for Battle Royale games and Hunger Games just swagger jack completely. Uh, let me see. You know what? I'm going to go first. This is a classic movie. I love it. I still love it. I think now I understand the themes that they're going for more. And I enjoyed it a lot. However, some of the acting was funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. All right, which one of y'all wants to take two? Uh, I'll take it. I did not realize how much Hunger Games and most mostly just Hunger Games ripped this shit off until I started well uh, I don't know halfway three quarters through I was like damn like this is literally just a I took it and I made it my own and it wasn't you know my own they stole it <laughs> <laughs> it's the nice way of saying that Tristan I did enjoy the movie a lot um similar with Eli, I see where everybody else got their stuff from it. Um, I think plenty of people have done an okay job of changing it up just enough, but I I see how this was so influential in setting the tone for that style of media between the games and the movies and I guess books too, but uh, I really appreciated what they did with this. Oh, because this was originally a book, right? This, I think this was a manga first, yeah. Okay. I mean, and we obviously know that Hunger Games was written after even this movie came out, so. Right. <laughs> Ten years later. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I, I don't know, bro. It definitely uh, makes me look at it a little different. Is it, does it fuck up Hunger Games for you a lot? No, I mean, I don't know the writer personally, and I like the movies. Well, a couple of them. Two of them. Um, <laughs> no one but, likes uh, Mockingjay. No, one no likes Mockingjay, nobody bro. likes Mockingjay. But it does make me kind of look at the the writer of this and be like, "What the fuck, dude? Chick, <laughs> like, yeah, you, you just rip this shit. It's bad, right? Like this is. It's it's funny to me because it, they she took the entire concept for this movie from this movie and lifted yeah. it mm-hmm. and yeah. changed a little bit of things and in a lot of situations I believe made made it worse. Interesting. How, however, the making it worse was her own spin on it. You know, taking the districts, doing that shit versus taking mm-hmm. a class of regular kids. But I think right. there's a lot. This movie, to me, I enjoy a lot from seeing the regular kids versus this dystopian world of, you know, the districts and poverty and all that shit. It was going for two different messages, and I prefer the Battle Royale message. See, that's I like fair. What with it. I, I will argue that I think Hunger Games did a better job of characterizing because they had a lot of like different styled um as far as what people are good at i should say Mm -hmm. like i mean you had the stronger characters you had the you know scavenger characters you had people that were better with bow you know people that had certain abilities if you will whereas in this it's like oh yeah everybody's you know pretty much the same wow see i disagree so i think instead of uh, characterizing individual characters in Battle Royale, they did groups. I guess. I'll get yes. into it later. Tristan, go for it. Um, my thing about the Hunger Games, and I'm not saying that Hunger Games did it better than this. What I do like about Hunger Games is the overall scene setting, world building, and um, I guess characterization of everything. Because, I mean, you get the different districts, you get the different kind of cultures in those districts 
and you get the idea that these kids know that this is going to happen and they live in fear of it. Whereas these students, I like the part where it's a surprise for the students. They had no idea what was going to happen and then bam, they just have to kill each other. I think that is a much more exciting element where right when it happens, it has to start setting in instead of growing up knowing that you have this possibility of this happening. Um, but I do like just the overall setting of Hunger Games a little bit better. Uh, I'm about agree. to fuck up your whole sentence. Okay. Because they knew this was going to happen. They knew this is a possibility. They know that already. Because they explained at the very beginning. I don't know if they changed dialogue in the dub for you guys or not, but they said that the Battle Royale act is like known and it's a thing. They just kind of pretend like it doesn't exist until it happens. Yeah. Right, and... You're right, but then, especially in this specific movie, the kids had no idea that was a thing. None of the kids knew what yeah, was did. going on. They didn't know that that's what they were being called upon for. Like, in the Hunger Games, you know, you go to the, what is it, the Reaping the or whatever? Reaping, yeah. Yeah. So you go there knowing that there's a possibility that, you know, your name could be called. Where is this? They're like, oh, we're in school. Oh, shit, we have to kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I mean by it. Like, they... They weren't the wiser, which, again, I appreciate that part of how they did it is everybody was having a good time about to, you know, go on their class trip or whatever. And then, bam, they got to kill everyone. That's insane. But I really like it. I don't know. I think it depends what you value more. I think fucking Hunger Games pussyfied the shit out of this a lot in a ways that I didn't like a lot, because they went super generic with the way they did Katniss and the love angle and da-da-da-da-da. It's a whole issue that I think okay. is deeper. And don't get me wrong, I like Hunger Games. They're just I really, really do, because I've read the book, so people want to come check me over that. You guys, you guys don't get it. You guys just seem... No, no, motherfucker. I've read the damn book. Shut the fuck up. But This is one of the few times. Yeah, we all I think did. they did a better take on Battle Royale in the second one. I agree. Catching Fire versus the yep. first one. I, I also thought the districts agree. were fucking dumb. I, to this day, I think it was stupid. It was something that they didn't really get into throughout the books. They just kind of put it out there and act like it was kind of important. It wasn't. It really wasn't. Not extremely. I think the main purpose of doing it in the Hunger Games, which I don't want to, you know, talk about that as much because we're talking about this, but the main purpose of that is really just to set in the tone of PETA and Katniss being from a poor district that they didn't grow up with shit. And they, yeah. I, the, they end up being what they hated in the first you know, movie. Yeah, they got moved up the class system. Right. And that's yeah. the whole point, you know, going into the third movie book, you know, whatever, because, what, they split the last movie into two, right? Oh, so yeah. They split the, the last two into two, didn't they? No, Catching no. Fire was one movie, Mockingjay okay. was two. Yeah, because, um, I mean, in the last book, that's kind of, they again, they did a lot better but than the movie, but that, that, that was really their point is like, hey, now they're part of, like, the capital. I mean, that's and that how, was the worst book. Right. And oh, that's how Katniss's sister ends up dying, you know, like that Bro, kind of thing. That's the one thing that got me in that series. I'm going to say that right now. I, see, I didn't care. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't care enough. Yeah, no, I didn't give a fuck at all. Bro, when I was reading, that hit me hard. I was dead. They killed her off screen, dude. What are you fucking... Sorry, spoilers. I said the, I said the, the book, book, bro. In the book. I read the that books book first. That book was so bad, they could have killed them all and I wouldn't I thought they care. killed her off screen <laughs> in the book, too. Then they, like, she came to no. seeing her dead after the nope. bomb hit. Nope. They were they were talking about her specifically in the moment, and then they said Katniss watched it happen and all that stuff. Um, That's fair. I just didn't finish the third because that shit was dog shit. My my thing, the the message part. So like with the battle royale act, they did it to because they were like, oh, this country is going to shambles. The youth is, you know, out of control. They're gonna kill our society. Um, the way they did that, but then, like, nobody knows it's happening until it's over. At least that's that's the way they made it seem. Because there was that opening scene where the lady's going, and she's, like, trying to see who won. They brought the kid back and everything. Uh, and so that happened. But, like, nobody seemed to really know about it. And then at the very end, it was like, oh, these people are wanted for murder. But I don't think anyone would have necessarily known that they were, like, part of the battle royale. Whereas, and so it, it, who knows, I don't know the impact that that has on their actual society when no one knows that the battle royale is happening and all they see is a winner out of it. 
and we don't get a whole lot of message from it. Whereas in Hunger Games, I mean, they they hype it up, they televise it. It's specifically for the purpose of here's what happened, here's why we're doing this, and this and that, and here, here's the message that we're trying to send. We're going to televise it. You guys are going to get this message nailed through your head. Whereas yeah. Battle Royale, they just they just do it, and then hopefully that'll help change things. That's, you're the, arguing that's the way for it seems. <laughs> you're arguing for me right now, Ike. That's one of my high reasons I really don't enjoy Hunger Games. It's because they're really trying to, like, aren't they so disgusting how these people watch these kids murder each other? I'm like, all right, dude, I fucking get it. Don't beat me like a child. Versus Battle Royale, where they're, they're treating it like a boogeyman. You know what I'm saying? Like an urban legend. You don't watch the games. You just hear about the aftermath. So it's like, it's like, it's the same thing with kids. Like when you take a kid, you tell them, hey, be careful. There's a, don't leave under, from your room at night. There's a monster under your bed or some shit like that, right? This is a fucking thing to hold over your head to scare you, right? No one thinks it's going to happen to them until it does. Whereas in Hunter Games, everyone thinks, oh, oh God, we're going to die. Everyone, it's going to be another drawing this week. Like I fucking, this is the reason I have an issue with. Hunger Games, but that's a whole nother can of worms that I'll never talk about because people don't give a shit about my opinion on Hunger Games. However, I like the way they attack this, and I like the way they also make you think, how close are high school kids to snapping and being willing to murder each other? Yeah, that's true. I mean, you saw how quick that one chick was. High key? I could see myself doing it. (laughs) Not to be honest like, cringy, like, I'm him kind of thing, but no, like... If you put me in a class with just the people in my class, high key, depending on the class, I would have started killing people. <laughs> All right. How about you guys? I don't know. I, 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 I got to watch I, my back now. Yeah, obviously. Well, I'd I, feel I'm bad lo- if I had to take out Eli, but there are some dudes I'd be willing to take out for free. Well, yeah, uh, that's fair. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to start locking my door if we go to Purge, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I... I think it's very situational. Like I'd like to say, you know, I'm not that person, but in the life or death situation, I think a lot of people would do things that they don't think of themselves. Um, I can tell you right now, I wouldn't be the dude to kill myself. So I guess it's kill or be killed. That's what I'm saying. I ain't going out. <laughs> that's what, that's what, I want to do. that's what I wrote down at one point. It says, all I'm saying is I'm going in and I'm coming out. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not, you're not taking me out. So we're going to have to try me. <laughs> Reek would have been the first dude who died right there with the crossbow. Fuck no, no, I would have been. T- no, he wasn't the first one who died. He took out about two people with that crossbow. I said, I said the first That's dude, true. the first dude. He killed the girl uh, and then he died. Well, he's taking dudes out with that crossbow. You got bro. Me like with my luck, I'm getting the fucking stun gun. <laughs> <laughs> that stun gun was so ass. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'd end up with the binoculars or the megaphone. I'd be like, all right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, that honestly, I pull out the backpack and I get the fucking binoculars. I might hang myself. <laughs> <laughs> bro. What do you mean, bro? I would like I would craft some thing and like use the glass to like throw it at someone like a knife, like whoosh, take out an eye real quick. <laughs> nah, bro. I just start a fire with the with the lens. That's what I do. I'd start a fire. Burn the burn school. That'd be kind of lit. Someone burns the school be, down yeah. while they're still getting. There. <laughs> That would be kind of crazy, actually. Dude, I legit. I thought the uh, the first dude who like had been there before or whatever. Um, when he walked out and he kind of like stopped and came back in, I thought he was going to camp in the hallway and start dude, fucking dude, stabbing I, I was like, is this allowed? Is this allowed? I thought he was going to camp, bro. I'm like, you <laughs> bitch. That was, was that was a really good loop that they threw me for with him, though. <laughs> dude, I, <laughs> it was spot traffic. Oh, dude. Okay, so I don't know if you guys, but at the beginning, when they, I've, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie, I forgot everything and I realized the ending I remember from the second movie. <laughs> But the second movie, nope, we're not watching it. It's cheeks. There's a battle royale too, though. There is. That's sweet. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> when you saw the two transfer students, which one of the two did you think was gonna be the bigger menace? The headband or redhead? The headband. The one that. It, uh, yeah, yeah. You thought redhead. You thought headband, Tristan. I thought head. No, I thought headband. The one that ended up making it. Oh, I thought headband was gonna be a bigger menace too. Yeah. yeah. Oh I yeah. Mean, I mean, the... you could just see the. I didn't care about L over there in the corner. I like, was wrong. He was whatever, bro. We we were wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, we were kind of wrong. One made like, it out. Headband, no, one made it out, though. Headband could have been like a super duper menace if he wanted to. Like, he really could have been the menace, and he chose not to be. 
Redhead was the menace. He was a super duper menace. <laughs> he came <laughs> on that Uzi going crazy. Yeah, he let that thing sing, bro. bro on the beach. He had unlimited bullets. <laughs> oh my god! He reloaded <laughs> one time in the entire movie. <laughs> I, had, I had to get to that part eventually, bro. Where? Here's the other thing. Where did all the bullets come from? They're in the bag. <laughs> They have to be, bro. Like, what bro, is this? The thing is, bro, he's not even, like, crazy, like, higher level of menace than some of these people, bro. The dude who straight up told the chick, hey, I could take advantage of you if I wanted. Like, oh, that yeah, dude was a menace as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that dude was a menace as well. You talk about the dude with the, the girl in the yellow? Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh... That was kind of wild. I'm not going to lie. And then they went out together like lovey-dovey. That was weird. Yeah, it was strange. It was very strange. I, uh, I really I like this movie so much, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip to a different part real fast just because I got to ask. Um, the deal with the like the dream with the teacher and the girl, Um, is that am I reading too much into that? Is that as bad as I thought it was? I don't think that was the girl. I thought it was pretty bad. I thought it was his daughter he was thinking of because he called him right afterwards. No, no, no. It was it was the girl that survived in the end because that was the one that he painted oh, in the, the center of the picture. One? Yeah, because okay. yeah, 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 there was the dream where they were eating like popsicles at the river. No, I think that was as bad as you thought it was. Yeah. I, okay. I had to make sure because I like, I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. I think they're doing a commentary <laughs> on how teachers be doing that shit. Yeah, that's how I took it. Don't stand... Dude, the, the, okay, the initial the initial drop in. You just you're singing during episodes now. I'm I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm just a little stuck. You did, bro, you didn't have to say anything about it. No, we did. You didn't have to do it. Uh, so you there's a the the teacher from this is a main character from Yakuza Six. Oh what? my god. And I was like, yo, it's Yakuza 6 Patriarch, Doug. <laughs> I hate his bitch ass now. <laughs> uh, so that was cool. That first scene in the classroom was lit, bro. When he threw the throwing knife through old girl's hair, he said, no talking. I was like, oh, Dude. shit. <laughs> that was a tone setter right there. Yeah, that was pretty then, crazy. Then the second dude, I forgot how the second dude got clapped. You guys remember that? The necklace. Two got- it was the necklace. Oh, he blew up? He yeah. blew the thing up. That was crazy, bro. I would have kicked, bro. He ran at me. I would have thrown that motherfucker through that window. He was coming at me with a bomb about to blow up on your neck. Motherfucker, catch it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have did him like Shawn Michaels did Marty Jannetty. Boy, get out that window. And, uh, that teacher looked... Yeah, that teacher looked like fucking every gym teacher that everybody hated back in the day. Absolutely. I thought I thought headband and redhead were gonna team up like Mike and Pippin for a while. Oh, same. I did too. I was like, I man, they like, gonna just run this whole town. <laughs> if you let the motherfuckers get together, it's a wrap. I thought it was gonna be Kobe and Shaq for a second, bro. <laughs> they were playing the Meek Mill on the boss. <laughs> they were just getting kills, collaterals and shit. Oh man, that was great. Fat boy thought he was Daryl from The Walking Dead. I love that. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, main dude barely made it out the crib, and the chick got pinched right in front of him. That was tough. Uh, his homie, his brother homie, was reading Slam Dunk, which is a great manga, by the way. <laughs> I didn't and, notice that. I didn't notice that either. Yeah, the cover was Slam Dunk. I was like, oh, that's, that's fucking Sakuragi, bro. That's my guy. Yeah, headband was using that shotgun like it was a fucking sniper rifle. <laughs> that shit, that, that was, was like, crazy, bro. He He had the super slugs in. There was no recoil on the shotgun. Dude, that's fantastic is what that is. He was one hand to get cross map. <laughs> no kickback on the Spaz 12. That shit's amazing. Bro, he had, I mean, I, with the pistol grip, it makes it a little easier. But at the one point where he, like, slides down the hill and then he's holding that thing with one hand, I was like, is he about to rip, shoot pop, someone pop, pop, like pop. that, bro? There is no chance. Your shoulder would have exploded. <laughs> like, you're, hey, not, man. you're not one handing a pump you. <laughs> I mean, you you could. It wouldn't go not well. Not him. Not him. <laughs> Break your wrist. Not him. Not him, bro. All right. Could be. Maybe he was him. Let me tell you guys something. Okay. I love the character writing in this and the availability. Okay. Each, they have little sections. I'm saying, like, individual characters may not have been developed except for the main two. Mm-hmm. However, I like the way they did the different groups. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. You had the group of girls who teamed up together. You had the group of, of popular girls who started betraying each other. Amazing. I love that little plot line. With the one girl. With the sickle. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sickle bitch, she was she, crazy. She I was, loved her. She nuts, went crazy bro. for sure. When they finally gave us like the little bit of backstory to her, I was like, yo, honestly, don't even blame you, girl. I do blame her, but it does add credence to that she's already has a body. This shit's normal to her. Yeah, exactly. She's been crazy. Yeah, I, the way she did the stun gun girl was tough. Oh my god. <laughs> She didn't even just kill her instantly. She put that sickle in her cutter a little bit and then sliced that shit all the way open, bro. That I would have was... been struggling way harder than that girl was, bro. I would have started yeah, she, dodging some eyes. She, she didn't try, bro. She's just like, all right, I just accept this shit. No, bro. I'm kill. I'm either you gonna kill me fast or I'm, I'm you know. That's what I'm saying, bro. She gone. just kind of sat there and accepted it. When she killed the pistol girl, like I'm so sick and tired. I just want for the one time. Somebody to not... in the monologue. Yeah, bro. Like, stop monologuing. <laughs> like, I just sure though, because, but it makes sense though, because she wasn't a killer and she was no, thinking she the... wasn't. She was looking for proof, like she was trying to bait her out to admit that she did it to shoot her. But the girl, the sickle girl, played her out really good. And I was really happy with the way she did it. Honestly, the way I wanted this to end so bad was that sickle girl and redhead were gonna. Uh, not team up, but they were going to show up against the final group at the same time to where they had to deal with both of them at one moment. You know what I mean? Mm, that that would have been much more interesting than what did happen, in my opinion. I don't know. I kind of like the way they did it. It's like you I, build up a, you built up two heels to elevate one heel even further. Yeah, yes. that is true. So, I mean, it's, it's just wrestling one-on-one, you know? They built up Redhead and Sickle Bitch and then had Sickle Bitch die. So that redhead looks even stronger. Because she shit, that fight between them was low key kind of good. Oh, absolutely it was. <laughs> they, they were boxing each other up. She got hit with the Uzi and she kept coming, bro. Oh my like, god. Oh my well, yeah, god. she's a fucking tank, bro. She didn't want to die. She's high key, she's the Terminator. She's the one. I uh, uh I don't know. It was something about like I said, something about how they made the characters at least, you know, out. In their individual groups as standalone characters of, you know, not having something about them that was special. They kind of turned me off to, you know, caring about those later scenes. Because, I don't know, I I don't mean to go back to our Hunger Games conversation. But I think the lead up to going into the arena was a lot better in this. But once they were actually in the arena, I cared for the Hunger Games stuff more. Really? Who did you like other than three characters from Hunger Games? Who did I like? Not very many. Who did you care about? Not very many. But I did think it was interesting, like, having different characters that were different. Like, Yeah, the dynamic uh, was, was definitely right. there. I more. thought there were more caricatures than characters. Like, I don't know. I, just okay, I get what you mean by that. I get what you mean by that, for sure. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm also not. somebody who I, I don't watch movies and care about the characters. Like, yeah, I feel like it's a really to hard to establish a character in a movie. In one movie. Yeah. So when I you agree. say, you know, you know, so when you say care about the characters, like, I mean, it's, it's kind of difficult. Was I interested in them more? Yeah. Like, in this one, I like the headband dude. I like Redhead because they were different. Like, they, and I, I, again, I get that, you know, they're all supposed to be, you know, school kids, blah, blah, blah. But, like. Those two, you know, they dressed different. They had something different about them to help me distinguish and help me, like, Mm -hmm. you know, think they were different characters than everybody in the same suit. Did you like Sickle Bitch, though? Sickle Bitch was fine, yeah, but, like, I don't don't know. I mean, it's just something about my brain where I have to, like, I need something different. I mean, it's like if you You need your main character to have blue hair. (laughs) Not necessarily, (laughs) but like if you, it's like making Kuroko's basketball and having everybody five, two and brown hair. Like uh, there's nothing different about you just because you have abilities. Uh Oh, (laughs) what? I don't know, dude. I'm going to call you racist now. No, but I think Rick likes doing that. I think they went more for the group dynamic because let me, let me tell you one of my favorite scenes of the movie. The kitchen scene in the lighthouse, that's yeah, with my the favorite part of this entire movie. I don't blame you for that. That was a really good scene. Like how a little dissension amongst people turned that into everyone in that house died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we, we, don't, we still poisoning. don't know if someone poisoned it at all. I said she could have just yeah, died. We do. Who did it? No, we don't. We watched the girl put the poison in the soup, and then she was going to take it up to Shuya. 
Because he was one? a boy. Oh, yeah. The, the little girl with, like, the glass or whatever. She put the poison in the soup. Oh, and the then the home the girl. Yeah. The, no, no, no. Then, then the home yeah, the, <laughs> the home girl came in from watch, threw her gun down on the table. She said, ooh, food. Took that, ate it, died. And then she's terrified the entire time. You can see it on her face as everyone else yeah. starts arguing about stuff. She never said a word the whole time until the one yeah, girl had the true. Uzi pointed at her. She was like, were you one of the murderers? And she just shakes her head no. And then the homegirl, you know, you know, blah, blah, right, right in her chest, kills her. And then she dies too. And then she's the only one left. But then she went and jumped off the lighthouse. That uh, shit was tight. That, that was, was a really cool. good scene. Yeah, it was a good scene. Everybody turned against each other in a matter of seconds. That scene was like less like five minutes, bro. Uh-huh. And half of that was Shuya running down the stairs and running up the stairs. <laughs> See, what I like the most about that is it's so realistic that in a scene yes. like this, people would just turn against each other so 100%. quick. 100%. That's why I love this movie. Because, look, you had that group with the all girls who thought they were going to, you know, do the little girl island bullshit. Then you had the popular girls with Sickle Bitch who were all killing each other. And then you had, you know, the outcasts who just turned against each other and were individuals on their own, you know. And then mm. you had the crackheads in the lab. The dudes in the lab, I love that. That was nuts, That's bro. true. The dudes in the lab the were crazy. The hacking and the bombs. Oh, my bro, God. Bro, those dudes were cooking crack with the <laughs> Lenovo ThinkPad. That shit was tight. <laughs> I was so into it. Like, this is what I mean. Like, I understand that these individuals might not be, like, as recognizable. But people in real life wouldn't be that recognizable either. It would be the groups. It's like Walking Dead, you know? It's like, I don't really care about the individual. I care about these it's groups. true. And so uh. that's what their people do. You'd have the people who band together. Then you'd have the outcasts who get left on their own and get picked off. And then you have the outcasts who want to be outcasts, like mm-hmm. Redhead. You or know? Sickle. Yeah, or Sickle, bitch, and who they're just going ham on motherfuckers. Like, I don't know. At least a, a couple of them, like... I don't, I don't know. A couple of them are different based on their weapons, at least. Like, I mean, it's not so much a weapon, but Crossbow Dude was at least fat, so you were able to distinguish him pretty easily because he's the only fat kid. <laughs> but, like, and then, you know, you had Taser Girl, you had Sickle Girl. So, I mean, like, they had different weapons, but, like, I just feel like there wasn't a lot of special to a lot of the people. And I get it being a group thing, and that's cool, and I appreciate that, but um, it does, like... It it doesn't help me root for a particular character to come out the winner. No, oh, see that's where the issue becomes. I wasn't rooting for people. I high key was rooting for everyone dying. <laughs> okay, I thrive off negativity, head ass. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, let me explain it as well. I got the endings mixed up for this, and I think I even changed the ending of the second one because I had to look into it. In the second one. It's not. I'm spoiling it because I'm not watching it. Yeah, the second fucking, one. You said it was bad. It's so. like a 20 percent of Rotten Tomatoes. It's not. Bad. <laughs> uh, basically, they're dri- at the end. Him and her drive away in a truck and shit. It's the and same two. Yeah, oh, and for man. some reason, I I remember in my head them getting the collars off, but the bombs not being in the collars. That was a lie. Oh. Mm. And they exploded anyways. <laughs> Damn, that's. Awesome. So I this whole time I thought that was gonna how it was gonna end. I was like, oh yeah, everyone's dead. I don't really care. Like I was here for just not to see a winner. Uh, all right. And so that's that kind of might have fucked me up on that portion because I just misremembered the ending to this whole thing. And even though I said that's not what happened at the end of two either, so I don't know where I got that from. Maybe someone who watches will tell me what movie I'm thinking of that did that kind of ending instead. See, maybe it's my expectations because I was expecting the. A battle royale movie to where you there is no main character there's just a bunch of different ones yeah you kind of not necessarily have to pick but like are rooting for all these characters only one makes it out in the end like i feel like hunger games is very shoveled in who you're supposed to go for and right. that's that's not you know I, I i think will to choose is pretty cool um and i i don't know i was i i want to see a battle royale movie to where there's just a bunch of different characters with different shit going on and you end up having to pick one and, you know, the one you pick might fucking die. That's actually high key. I was thinking about this. I want a Battle Royale series. Mm. That'd be pretty sweet, yeah. Because you could do that in a series where, like, I want to treat it like like Survivor or something, right? To where you're mm-hmm. like, oh, this is my guy and you're watching the show, you're like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think a, a current adaptation of Battle Royale would need to do something like that. Like, I think that would be sweet, dude, and I'm surprised nobody has. 
I have, like I said, I haven't read the manga, so the manga might be different. Got to remember that too. Hey, I, I'll fucking write one, bro. If somebody just give me the time. High key, I think they're missing out, especially with the current rise of battle royales in pop culture with Fortnite, PUBG, and all that shit. Even more, once you start looking at it, if you look at look at PUBG, PUBG stole <laughs> battle royale one for one. Oh my god! Like the, like the red zones and everything happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's, we can be the danger zones. Like it's in, it's kind of fucked up how much they took from this fucking movie and just don't credit it. And you know, it kind of well, sucks. It's the thing battle royals are huge, bro. Especially in gaming, like everybody plays battle royale. Yeah, that mm-hmm. that manga artist, he needs to get his get back. He needs royalties. <laughs> they oh, Fortnite owes him at least a billy because you know they're making about thirty seven of them things. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah, but I really like that. I thought the, the the doll metaphor during the sickle bitches um flashback scene. <sighs> they got a. Oof, I did not like that. I liked it, <laughs> but I didn't like. You know what I mean? It was I mean, a good it makes way you uneasy. of storytelling. Yeah, it makes you really uncomfortable and makes you really upset when you realize that the mother sold her. Right. You know, and I'm like, fuck, man. We just watched something that did that too recently. I forgot. Um, there was like someone trying. Oh no, I was watching um, NCIS at the at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's <All right>. crazy. <laughs> so never mind. That's something completely different. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's. I, I didn't like that, but I did thought it was an interesting way to go about the storytelling. I just I also was mad at myself later for saying that I could have picked the right medicine and I missed. <laughs> and and then he turned zom- redhead turned to a zombie at the end. I don't know what was going on there. You know, but... I kind of discredited it to be honest. What do you mean by that? I mean, I just kind of, you know, pushed it to the side because he was already dead. Yeah, I was like, he's a menace. This dude's dead with hollowed out eyes and still trying to kill people with this damn Uzi. <laughs> For real, bro. Him Put the damn Uzi, Uzi down. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I want to go back and say real fast, you brought up your favorite scene earlier, Reek. I think my favorite scene, for completely different reasons, uh, was when Homeboy got shot up with the Uzi, and then he was like, oh, my gosh, the bulletproof vest saved me. He was like, sweet, dude. And then Homeboy, for some reason, was on top of the house right above him. Came down, sliced his head off, Put a grenade in his mouth and threw it in through the window of the house. That was hilarious. Oh my god. That was that... awesome, dude. He was just running around the house, tap tap on all, all the different windows and stuff. He threw just a bloody hand up on the window. That was funny as could be to me. The action scenes and the delayed deaths of this movie, I love it so much. My favorite kill in the entire movie was one sickle bitch slit slit that bitch's throat. <laughs> Bro, the blood splatter from that was oh so my god. bad. <laughs> so fucking cool I was, like, it was like, <laughs> I was like yeah this looks dope I loved it speaking of delayed deaths the very ending when the three of them roll in right where headband fake so he's gonna turn on them and shit mm-hmm. they roll in on Yakuza 6 dude teacher man mm-hmm. and they're like yo motherfucker we're here to get you and shit and you know he ends up trade getting the trade <laughs> with headband <laughs> <laughs> yeah Bro, when they shot him and he just ate the shit, he's like, damn. And he walked from the blackboard back to the couch, said his lines, and then went, (laughs) and then died. (laughs) I was so confused. I was like, what just happened, bro? So sweet, bro. The best they shot him up and he had a squirt gun. (laughs) It was so sweet, bro. (laughs) What are we doing? Oh, I loved it. I just thought Headband went out in a stupid way. I was kind of mad about that. For real, he just died on the boat. Yeah, he was a real G, though. He bled out and shit. But. Blood out, just smoking a cigarette, enjoying himself. You know, they say blood in, blood out. However, I realized something watching this movie. I would have looked like fucking Pistol Pete Maravich in Japan in basketball, bro. They're kind of ass. Oh, they're super bad. And they kept fucking calling back to it too yeah they kept, he kept hitting that one layup i would have been like would have, again get the meek mill i'm a boss goat i'm about to come out your shit <laughs> these guys bro all y'all five four anyways you about to you about to go crazy dun, 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 dun. i would have been jumping over dudes left and right it would have been awesome <laughs> shout out uh, shout out japan's basketball makes me look at you kuroko fuckers different i think they could what if meter was just shooting regular threes in the whole time and like probably <laughs> they were getting they're like oh my god that's a full court shot <laughs> murasaki bar is just when they said that you can block anything in the three-point line you really meant just the paint not even the paint like like right underneath the hoop the little dude was going for a tight <laughs> layup 
Oh man, good times, good times. Yeah, and then it ended. I didn't. I didn't care for the ending that much. Nah, it is whatever. I don't care no. about them running away. I like the movie, but the second movie we don't talk about that. It's like Bruno, you know. Ah, uh, true. We don't talk about him. No, I love this movie. I think it's a classic. I loved what it did for film. I love what it inspired. I don't know about Fortnite though. So, I mean, oof. I don't know if you should inspire <laughs> yeah. that one, guys. Yeah. But man, I thought this movie was super fucking excellent. I know you guys are gonna get mad at my score already. <laughs> Probably, but before you say it, kid, it, it, since this inspired so many things, can we blame it for having Nicki Minaj and fucking Call of Duty? <laughs> I think through a chain of events, you can blame. You can, in fact, blame Battle Royale for Nicki Minaj beating in Call of Duty. Uh, All right, well, that affected a, a half point in my score. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put you have to put that evil on them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just set the tone. Y'all ready for this? He's going to say nine and a half. Eight and a half. All right. Nine okay, see, so I had a nine in my mind for you, so. Um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a nine. It's not. Looking at what I gave a nine and a half, I can't, I can't reasonably <laughs> give it a nine. Eh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to make sure that I don't let the fact that I watched the dub affect my score. I'm going with the seven. Uh, if I had let the dub affect my score, this would have been a four because the dub, this was the worst dub I've ever heard in my life. It was so bad. <laughs> I, really I have to throw, that, that, I have bad, to throw this out here one time before we get done. This was the worst dub I have ever heard. I heard a bunch of early 2000s white chicks playing high school Japanese girls and it was just it was horrible now i want to well, go back I mean, and watch it <laughs> that's kind of what they represent right but yeah. It, I, yeah, it was it I was mean, bad. i don't know no it was bad it uh, was did you just... watch the squid game dub i did not <laughs> no there you go all right um i actually my score is a lot more tame than i thought it'd be i was gonna give it a six and a half i thought it was a good movie i just there was particular things that didn't keep me as entertained as some of the other stuff i had but i do appreciate that this is the original and you know, kind of set the tone, um, and it makes me upset that a lot of things didn't just take aspects. They took the entire movie. So, shout out. I think all these scores represent our individual tastes pretty well, because, like, you guys know I love campy shit with the good meaning, so this was right up my fucking alley with the core and the death. So, yeah, this is perfect to me. Good times, good times. So, yeah. Uh, next week, Witcher. 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 Chicken Witcher. You guys see me episodes that is? It's only three. Yep. Oh, sweet. <sighs> All right. Before, we, okay. I, I know it's derailing the segment. I might have to cut this out in, in the cut for the podcast. Nah, I'm going to leave this shit in. Fuck them. If you're this far, you enjoy us talking. High key, I'm just going to put it out there now. I think they're going to either end the series and then do prequels for the next season. Okay. Or they're going to do time travel <laughs> for Witcher. Oh, time I travel. See I, I see time travel happening. To be honest with you, they're gonna have to explain the fucking Liam, and I, I think that's gonna. That's how they're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, I could see either of those things. Yeah, wa- right. not have you watched it yet, right? No, no. But okay. I, 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 I like the prequel aspect if they do the fucking Vesemir coming out the the Witcher lab. That'd be fine. And then going into Geralt as a baby, going into Geralt as Liam. Oh, they're not right going that, that far back, bro. <laughs> bro. Chill. They went back to Origins, bro. Didn't you watch that one? Blood huh? Origin? Huh? huh? <laughs> no, nah, I didn't either. Yeah. Witcher next week, guys. So be there for that. Um, one Piece at the end of the month. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. One Piece all right, live all right, action. All right. All right. Uh, one Piece live action. I can't wait. To, oh, the views for that are going to be so good. <laughs> <laughs> you greedy bastard. You damn fucking right. I saw what we did for Cowboy Bebop. We better get the same number. <laughs> Um, let's see. What else do we got? Hmm. Fiend. Movies coming up. Oh, we got to get a new movie, right? At some point. Uh, for I After mean, Witcher? Yeah. We can just do it next no. week. What? What? No, fuck you. We're, we're, we're here now. Man, you got somewhere to be? Not exactly. Someone didn't put a fucking movie. That's why he's asking. Huh? I'm pretty sure I have a movie on there. Did I not put a movie on there? No. You want to take Is one of mine? a new list? Yeah, it's a new list. Oh. Well, that's why. What do you mean? We never said new list, motherfucker. You look at the list. You can count the motherfucking shit. It's right there. 
I put one on the list. I'm I'm just gonna put that out. You want to take my second movie? Hold on, look at this. There's three movies on there now. <laughs> yeah, that's what, you like that. That's how it's gonna <laughs> you like that? <laughs> That's, that's that, se- that second one. That second one on there is my movie. That's mine. No, okay. <laughs> I knew exactly what was going to happen. So, um, yeah, the next movies for two weeks' time, we have Puss in Boots, Last Wish. I have seen the first one. Have you seen the first one, Tristan? I have seen. I saw the first one in theaters. I think I also own it, to be honest with you. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Missing with the girl who played Riley from The Last of Us. Oh, and I don't, I don't know why the fuck this is here. I've asked that question for many weeks, but La La Land um, again. <laughs> this motherfucker's about to get fucking murdered, man. It's there this time. I won. We're watching Missing next. Hell yeah! Cool. Back Damn, to back. Damn, I can't believe my movie didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> well, even when I, even when I lose, I win. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, so come hang out with us when we watch all that shit. Uh, we're going to take a break from the fucking TV list because we got to watch a bunch of stupid shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We really enjoyed ourselves a lot. We have to plug social media. I, I don't... Um, I don't know what this shit's called no more. It could be Dos Equis, Twitter, fucking... Upside down cross. I don't. You guys know what that shit's called anymore? That's XX Tentacle Monster. Got you. You can find us on whatever the fuck that is until that shit goes away. So you probably want to go to Threads at this point. But we don't even really like Threads. But it's it's, it's better than Twitter at this point. You can find us on on X twit Xer <laughs> at B I N G E B O I S. That's Binge Boys. You can find us on motherfucking every other social media: Instagram, Threads, TikTok at. D A B I N G E B O I S that is D A instead of V because we are dumb asses. Change the Y to an I in the motherfucking boys, and you can check us out on all those platforms. <clears throat> Thanks for hanging out with us. We really enjoyed ourselves. We want to remind you guys that with you today, my name was Enrique. My name was Eli. And my name's Tristan. And I want you to remember in my battle royale. Tristan need to watch his fucking back. Watch his fucking back. Watch his fucking back. Watch his fucking back.